गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर गुड इन हेल्थ एंड हाई इन स्पिरिट्स एंड डूइंग योर होमवर्क वेल इन टाइम इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पावर ऑफ अकोमोडेशन ऑफ एन आई एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक डिफेक्ट ऑफ विजन माओपिया बट बिफोर कमिंग टू टूडेज टॉपिक लेट अस रिकेप्चुलेट वट वी हैव स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर पावर ऑफ अकोमोडेशन the ability of human eye to adjust its focal length to form a sharp and clear image of the object at different position from the eye with the help of ciliary muscles is known as power of accommodation as you can see in the figure first distant focus the object is very far away and the parallel rays represent that object is at infinity after passing the eye lens the eye rays the light rays are meeting on retina forming a sharp and clear image on retina and if the object is placed near to the eyes you can see in closed focus the eye lens becomes thicker why this eye lens becomes thicker to form the image on retina which is screen of the eye and who changes the shape of eye lens ciliary muscles changes the shape of eye lens this is known as power of accommodation now what is persistence of vision the impression of an object seen by the eye persist on the retina for 1/16th of a second even after the object is removed if another object is seen before this time the impression of the two merges over each other to give us the sensation of continuity and this property of eye is called persistence of vision you might have seen motion pictures animated pictures and cartoon films in cartoon films and these motion pictures the artist design the cartoons on piece of a paper and when these cartoons are move in front of our eyes very quickly then it causes a image like that we are seeing a real time movie this is not a cartoon this is a motion picture this is due to persistence of vision road cells light sensitive cells which enable us to see in dim light are road cells cone shaped cells these cells are sensitive to bright light and causes the sensation of colors in our eyes now coming to today's topic myopia this topic has three new terms far point near point and defect of vision far point farthest distance from the eyes so that the sharp image of the object is formed on the retina without any strain वो दूर से दूर बिंदु जहाँ तक कोई भी आँख बहुत आसानी से साफ इमेज बना सके किसी भी वस्तु की उसे कहेंगे फार पॉइंट नियर पॉइंट मिनिमम डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द आइज ऑफ विच अ शार्प एंड क्लियर इमेज इज फॉर्म डेट रेटिना विदाउट एनी स्ट्रेन दिस इज नॉन एज नियर पॉइंट ऑफ एन आई नॉर्मली इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर for a normal human being defect of vision if a clear image of a object which which is very far or very near is not formed on retina then this is known as defect of vision the image formed is blurred it is not so that both the points may be blurred if an object cannot be seen clearly when it is placed far then it may be that a nearby object can be seen clearly and vice versa but in both the cases defect of vision is there now people with normal vision can focus clearly on very distinct objects we say that their far point is at infinity as shown in figure two parallel rays which are coming on the eye lens are representing an object which is at infinity 
and after passing through islands they are converging they are meeting at retina forming a image at retina now people with normal vision can focus clearly on nearby objects up to a distance of 25 cm from the eye we say their near point distance is 25 cm from the eye as you can see in the figure at point n there is an object it is a nearby point the rays coming of this object after striking the islands are again converging and meeting at retina and a sharp and clear image is formed at retina now what happens if the rays of light do not converge at retina then a blur image is formed as you can see in the figure the parallel line represents the object is very far away and after passing the islands the light rays are meeting in front of retina rather than meeting on retina so it is a defect of vision and this defect of vision is known as myopia a blurred image is formed of very far away objects in myopia a person can see the nearby objects clearly but cannot focus on distant objects this is also known as short sightedness the far point of a short sighted person may be only a few meters rather than at a infinity this defect occurs in a person's eyeball is larger if eyeball becomes larger then this, this defect is occurs in such a case the image of the distant object is formed in front of retina as you can see in the figure it is because the islands remains too converging forming the image of the object in front of retina the defect of human eye in which the person can see nearby objects clearly but unable to see distant object clearly and distinctly is known as myopia also known as near sightedness now what causes myopia first of all look at this figure of normal eye the incident rays passing through eye lens are meeting on retina first causes elongation or increase in the size of eyeball if eyeball becomes big then this focus shifts from retina to in front of retina and second one is when eye lens becomes thick due to excessive curvature of eye here is the figure you can compare both the eye normal eye and a myopic eye the size of the eyeball is increased and the eye lens becomes thicker so these are the two causes of myopia now how will you correct a myopic eye to correct short sighted vision a diverging concave lens of suitable focal length is placed in front of eye the rays of light from distant object are diverged by the concave lens so that final image is formed at retina as you can see in this figure the far point of myopic eye that is if a object is placed near to the myopic eye the rays are converging at retina image is formed at retina and image is sharp and clear but if the image is very far away then the image will be formed in front of retina it is a myopic eye so a person should wear concave lens to correct myopic eye if the object is very far off that is usually equal to infinity we take normally then focal length of concave lens is so chosen that virtual image of distant object is formed at the far point of the short sighted eye at the focus of this lens which lens concave lens the rays of light appear to come from the image at far point for a short sighted eye and not from a more distant 
object. So after placing a concave lens to a myopic eye, in front of a myopic eye, the rays will first pass through this converging, diverging lens and after passing through this diverging lens, our eye lens will converge these rays and focus on retina and a sharp and clear image of the object is formed. Now what is should be the focal length of this corrective lens? Which corrective lens? Concave lens. Concave lens is also known as diverging lens. Here is the figure of concave lens. The parallel rays which are coming to this lens are coming from infinity and after striking they are diverged. They will not meet. Recall the formula which we have studied in chapter number 10 light reflection and reflection. Yes, focal length 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u known as lens formula. f is the focal length of the lens. v the distance of virtual image considered as negative and we know that why negative because due to sign convention of lenses in concave lens it is on the left hand side so it is negative far point of the eye u position of object again at left hand side and we are taking the distance as x for the image and infinity for the object so near point of the eye is considered as infinity so according to lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u putting the values of v and u we get 1 by f is equal to 1 divided by minus x minus 1 divided by minus infinity and after solving it we find that f the focus the focal length of corrective lens comes out to be minus of x minus represents that we have to use concave lens now what will be the power of this corrective lens the person who is with spectacles you might have heard that he is wearing a lens of so and so power so how will you find out the power of this corrective lens and which is the corrective lens here concave lens so power is given by the formula p is equal to 1 by f and here the focal length should be in meters and previously we have seen that f is equal to minus x so p is equal to minus 1 by x the SI unit of power of a lens is diopter represented by capital D focal length should always be taken in meters to find out the power of a lens and the negative sign in this formula represents that the corrective lens is diverging that is concave lens so with this we come to the assessment part here is a question for you the far point of a myopic person is 2 meter in front of the eye what is the nature of power of lens required to correct this defect so what is given x is given and the value of x is 2 meter it is positive or negative yes it is negative what else is given u considered is as infinity minus infinity yes because it is at left hand side which formula will you re require for focal length you will be taking the formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u the lens formula and for power p is equal to 1 by f or p is equal to minus 1 by x and the unit of power is diopter always remember to write the unit in the end now concluding today's topic by summary 
Myopia is the defect of human eye in which the person can see the nearby objects clearly but unable to see the distant objects clearly and can be corrected by spectacles with the concave lens of suitable focal length. A person suffering from myopia should wear spectacles with concave lenses of suitable focal length always. In the last, there is homework for you. You have to solve assignment number 24. Thank you and have a nice day.